Black Horror Freaks to another edition of Worst of the Worst. I am your host, the Strange Monkey, and as you can see, as you can see the look on my face, I'm not happy. Today's review will be about the biggest disappointment of 2018. I'm talking, of course, about Death House, the so-called Expendables of Horror. Yeah, right. I don't even know... I don't know how to review this movie alone. It's very difficult to review this. I have asked Lisa Loves from Three from the Grave, my awesome pal from Three from the Grave, to join me on this review. She'll be... she'll be around soon. This is gonna be more of a rant than a review, to be honest with you. I tried watching this four times, and I fell asleep. But by the fourth attempt, I made it through because, my God, I just, I was lost. I was lost, ladies and gentlemen. And so let's let's get into it, shall we? The premise. I mean, what what was the premise? I need to literally look this one up because I have no idea what the hell was going on. During an exclusive tour, a power breakdown inside a secret prison known as the Death House sends two agents fighting through a labyrinth of horrors while being pursued by a ruthless army of roaming inmates. As they fight to escape, the agents push toward the lowest depths of the facility, where they learn a supernatural group of evil beings may be their only chance for survival. Did they literally just give the whole fucking plot in this? Is, oh my god. If only the film was as simple as this plot synopsis. I can't believe this. Sorry for being unprofessional. They had an interesting cast in this film, but unfortunately, there were more like cameos, you know. The, the cover of this, or the poster, I should say, they, they talk about, it's like the expendables of horror. But it's not, ladies and gentlemen. It was all a lie. Bullshit. You have a lot of cast members that are known for other horror movies that are famous. And unfortunately, that's what this film relies on. And it hurt the film in the end. I know that Gunnar Hansen and uh, there was another uh, writer in this film. They worked in this film together, and may he rest in peace. But I feel like if they had a bigger budget, this would have been better. Because, I don't know. I know there was a Texas Chainsaw homage in the film. I thought that was pretty cool. Cinematography in this movie. What, what cinematography? Most of this shit took place with a green screen most of the time and it was weird everybody except Kane Hodder seemed out of place in this movie everybody it was very cringeworthy maybe Tony Todd was the, the only other person that I thought was not out of place but in the beginning I was so confused there was a woman who was wounded and he's like messing around with her wounds and he's talking about we're going to take you to the farm and I'm like what farm is this farm a hospital is there even a hospital on a farm? Tony, I need answers, for God's sakes. You know what, let's switch it over to Lisa Loves. Strange Monkey, you asked me for my thoughts on Death House. First off, what the hell was going on? Do you know what the story was? Do you know what the premise of that movie was? I spent the time watching it in perpetual confusion, for a start. Two agents going into this, like, modernized prison with CGI holographic crime so they can constantly recreate their crime over and over again. Sounds interesting. It isn't. I felt like I was watching a bad Wild Eye movie. Apologies to Wild Eye, some of their movies are crap, I'm sorry, but I felt like I was watching a Wild Eye movie. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. There's a field of sheep outside and that is more interesting to me. A line of sheep's posteriors is more interesting to me than Death House. Would I ever watch this movie again? No bloody way. It's not happening. I mean, it pains me, my beloved Ken Hodder. We've got Bill Mosley, we've got Ken Hodder, we've got Robert Englund, we've got Sid Haig, we've got Adrian Barbeau. With, with the list is endless and I was so excited and when they said the expendables of horror I was even more excited. I'm co I was completely confused with what was happening. 
most of the CGI effects were bloody awful. I will admit there were a couple of practical effects that I did enjoy, so I will give the movie that. I will say that there were those couple of scenes that, that were pretty cool. And then there was that scene where the two agents, one male and one female, both attractive, both young, decided to have a shower side by side like in one of those type of showers you'd get in a football changing room. What the hell was the point of that? Right, we need to think of a reason to get this woman's tits in the film. Let's put them side by side so we can't be accused of sexism. They've set us up for a sequel. <laughs> really? They were so, like, concerned with setting us up for a sequel that they paid more attention to that than they did to the actual premise of the movie making any damn sense. Do I think they'll go ahead with a sequel? I doubt it. I have not heard one person say one positive thing about this steaming pile of crap. Like the nun, it's a steaming brown bag full of crap on fire on your doorstep. Don't watch it. I beg you don't watch it. I, I apologise to all those people that warned us. You warned us. I listened. I disregarded and watched anyway, even though I know it'd be crap. I had a vague hope that Kane Hodder may save us. He didn't. <sighs> Don't make another one. And like I said, if they had a bigger budget, I think the execution would have been a lot better and they could have done more things. I don't know. It was a lack of a good script. That's what hurt this film the most. It was an incredibly slow burn and nothing started happening until maybe 40 minutes in. It hurts to even review this movie, because when the trailer came out, I thought, wow, this looks like it could be something, but I won't hold my breath. But we'll see, and unfortunately, I was let down. The whole movie was a letdown, and it's a damn shame. So, unfortunately, Death House is on the chopping block. Out of here! Get out! What a mess! You know what to do already, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. What did you think of Death House? I need, I need people to, you know, give me their opinions on this because this was a highly anticipated movie and oh, it's down, damn it, it's just terrible. But anyways, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Facebook, uh, and have yourselves a good fright. Ha 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 